Hi from Maria Cristina. We are at the end of the spit on the Gold Coast. That's South Stradbrook Island. That's the open ocean. And I am having a look at the whales jumping out of the water as they go with their calves back from where they add their calves on the barrier reef all the way down to Antarctica. Now, we are here to talk about Rome. So what are we talking about today? We're going to have another trip around Rome. Today's tour is going to end up in a restaurant. I don't normally talk about restaurants, that's not my thing. So cafes, restaurants, accommodation, not my thing at all. But I'm going to talk about this one because I think it's an interesting concept which I support completely. So start your walk at Campo dei Fiori. Why not? So when you're in Campo dei Fiori, go to Palazzo Farnese, Farnese Square, and then go at the very back of Palazzo Farnese. So from Campo dei Fiori, have a look in Piazza Farnese, have a look at the two big fountains on either side of the palazzo, and uh, just in case you do, didn't know, those two big fountains are made out with bathtubs from the baths of Caracalla, from ancient Roman spa. And uh, so make your way, if you look at the palace, go on to the left side of the palace in Via del Mascherone and make all the way down. Mascherone is big mosque. At the end of the road, you will find Via Giulia, perpendicular to Via del Mascherone, and the Mascherone itself, a big fountain with a big face spitting water at you. Take left and you're going to come to a crossing you are going to be on the river Tiber, you are going to cross the road and cross the bridge onto the other side. That is Ponte Sisto, Sisters Bridge. Now, get to the other side of Ponte Sisto. You might find some buskers on Ponte Sisto because you are getting to Trastevere, Trastevere, big going out area. So, you will cross the Ponte and find Piazza Trilussa. We always meet up in Piazza Trilussa. So, if you are going there at like 9 or 10 o'clock at night, it's going to be so packed because everybody's waiting for their friends. And then sort of follow the flow of people. Or you might do this when you're just out of the museums we saw in the previous video that are Villa Farnesina and Palazzo Corsini on Via della Lungara. Follow Via della Scala and get to Piazza Sant'Egidio. Here you find three things. You find the building of the Comunità di Sant'Egidio, which is um, a community that does a lot of good things around the world. They have uh, brokered the peace deals in Mozambique years ago, and they are involved in a lot of uh, actions to promote humanity. Uh, one of these actions is the restaurants that we're going to go to. There is a a uh, uh, museum on the square as well, it's called the Museo di Roma in Trastevere. Get into the museum, have a look around, it's gonna be quick and fast. There are really some pretty nice aquarelles uh, by Ros Rosler Franz that are gonna show you how Rome used to be uh, during the 1800s. Uh, you will recognize all the places and then it's gonna tell you about uh, the traditions of Rome. You're also going to see some paintings of the fireworks uh, that used to be in Rome, both from the Pincio Terrace and from Castel Sant'Angelo. So it's really about the habits of Romans and you're going to find some displays where mannequins are dressed up to look like the Romans in the 18 and 1900s. Right in front of the museum, in the square, there is a restaurant called Il Ristorante degli Amici. It's run by the Sant'Egidio community and uh, the reasons why I'm keen to tell you about it is that it's run by friends and by disabled people. So your waiter or waitress or chef might be differently able. They might have Down syndrome or any other syndromes. It's a really interesting place. You will feel welcome, the food will be outstanding, but you're promoting a good cause. So 
read the menu, you might go online and promote it to your friends. So if you liked this story today, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel and I'm going to see you in the next video. If you want to download the book for free rather than buying it on Amazon, you can do so at romanhome.com.au forward slash book. And if you want a longer course on Rome, then you can go to romanhome.com.au forward slash video course. Thank you. Ciao.